A shadow has passed over the island, a great fog, and so February is depressing. <laughs> Hi everybody! <laughs> Sorry for weird being weird. Mm. I forget a lot of things. When I was in middle school, my mom told me, like, every day to remember this, don't forget this, blah blah blah. She had to come to my school, like, every week at some point to give me homework that I've forgotten, or my lunch, or like money for something, and I was just kind of an airhead <laughs> during that time. And so when I figured out I was autistic, it was like, oh, that's why. I mean, when I figured out I had ADD, then that was a big hint too. But um, with autism, then we have better long-term memories than short-term memories. And so I wanted to make a little how-to video on remembering and tips for forgetfulness. So here we go. Some things to be aware of that you need to remember in the first place is any dates someone gives you, plans that you make with someone on a future date, um, when someone tells you to do something, when you need someone else to do something, objects that I like keep around me that I need, that I can't forget at home and leave at home, directions on how to do something. Those are some things that we're hearing and we're saying, okay, I'll do that, I'll do this, I'll remember this, I have to do it this way. But if we forget later, then it's because we thought we had a better short-term memory than we actually did. I actually have a trigger word for if I make a password online, that's a big one, online stuff. If I like create a password for an account online and I, I'll say to myself, oh, I'll remember this. That means I'm not going to. Every time, for some reason, my brain says to me, oh, I'm going to remember this. I'm not going to remember it. So that is the indicator to me that I need to write it down. So number one is schedule or calendar. I keep my notebook. I have a calendar where every single day of the week I write down what I need to do and a schedule of things that I need to remember. As soon as you are given a task, as soon as you think of something that needs to be done, write it down immediately. Sometimes I will say, oh, I need to go to the store on Tuesday. And if I don't write it down, right as I say, I need to go to the store on Tuesday, I completely forget to even write it down. So immediately. Number two is phone reminders. Phones are fantastic. We have lots of apps that you can use, uh, like a calendar app or a planner app that you can put on. Just even just the little like reminders app, just put it in there. Um, if you have, if you can put an alarm on it, then that's good too. There's also a budget app called Mint that I use, and it saved my life for sure. I don't have any college debt anymore. I learned how to budget, and I paid off my college loans. Number three is a weekly chores routine. If you know that you need to do things during the week and you want to make a schedule to do it the same day every week, then just make a little chores calendar and make it repeated each week so that it becomes a habit. You'll have less arguments with the other people who are doing chores in your house because you say, these are the times that I did this and I did that. So if the dishwasher is not unloaded right now, that means that you didn't unload it because this was the day that I do it. So that's good too. That was so cheesy. <laughs> Number four, a password notebook. I have, oh there it is. This little tiny notebook that my my dearest friend Katie gave me, and I write down accounts that I have online, their username and their password. Rosinko, I keep going like this. I should be going like this to show my pretty nails. <laughs> uh, number five, an important papers binder. This is a binder of folders that has all my important papers in it: um, tax stuff, car receipts, school. Um, the lost receipts. Anything that you will need as a grown-up, just get a binder for it. 
whenever you say, oh, it's time to do the taxes, oh, I need to, like, return something that I bought that's not working, um, I need my social security information, it's all in one place. And speaking of all being in one place, put everything in the same place. I will lose my glasses, I'll lose my keys, I'll lose my wallet, I'll lose my phone, because I never, I just threw them wherever. Right now, I have a system where I have my keys and my wallet in this purse that goes on that hook, never goes anywhere else. My purse is on the floor. It should not be there. See, I still have to try and figure out how to follow my own advice sometimes. I'm going to put that away. <laughs> but it's a special area designed for certain groups of things. I always keep my glasses, my earphones, my uh, medication on my bedside table because that's probably like the best like everyday thing type of place on my desk i always have my uh notebook my um on there i have all my papers on my dresser i have all my skincare items my makeup and my contacts when you get in the habit of putting things in the same place every single time you'll always know that you can find it there it's getting so dark in here. The sun is going down, and I have this one light. I'm gonna turn on another light. Okay, that's a little better. <laughs> another thing to do is complete a task in one day so that you don't start something and then never finish it. Uh, and if I have something that is kind of, will take longer, then I split it into distinct sections where I can feel accomplished like I finished something and then later I'm at a point where I can start again and not feel like I'm picking up in the middle of something and get all frazzled and be like, oh my gosh, where did I leave off? Did I do this? Did I do that? Just finish, com finish it or set it into sections. Arrange the things that you need to do by urgency. And then the bigger tasks, do it on days where you're doing less things. So if on my list is to go grocery shopping, to get money out of the bank, and then to see a friend for coffee. Obviously the urgency would be to get money out of the bank so then I can go shopping, or so then I can go with friends. As if I'm going out with friends all the time. Uh, I'm meeting someone for coffee later this week, so. If I have people, if I'm gonna go shopping, that's way too much for me to deal with and then still be able and have the emotional energy to hang out with someone afterwards. And so what I will do is either I'll get money out of the bank and then go shopping and do nothing else, or I'll get money out of the bank and then go see a friend and on another day go shopping. I might even have to just get money out of the bank one day and then go shopping the next day and then see a friend later. Because depending on where I'm feeling socially and emotionally, if I can be around people and do a lot of like stuff that I need to do during the day. It's it varies every day of the week. So before I go, the last thing I want to say about forgetfulness is everybody forgets stuff. You're never going to be able to remember everything. To, all, like all people on earth have to write things down. They have to come up with these ways to remember because no one can keep in their head every single thing that they need to do every day for the rest of their life. So any of these tips are helpful for anyone really whether you have issues with remembering or you just you, you don't really feel like you do as much as much as anyone else i used to get really angry when i forget things i would just have like either like just freak outs where i just like scream at myself and like it, it was like not fun <laughs> i didn't like myself and so when i started calming down and I say, like, okay, there's ways I can prevent this from happening, even if I, I can't fix it for the rest of my life, and I'm, I'm always going to be like this and always be forgetful. At least I can just let go and say that I've tried my best and be okay with that. Put in the comment section ways that you help yourself to remember things that you need to do, places that you need to go, anything like that. I'd love to hear everybody, uh, everybody's opinion, because I still forget a lot of things, so that would be helpful. Do you like my shelves? They're so cute. I put them up myself, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. My All right, bye.